I have really good memories there. It was very much a good time. And I graduated high school on a Friday and I started Pierce College on Monday. And I could have gone anywhere, but I wanted to stay close to home. I selected it. It was by choice because it was a good school. It was in my community and started going there and immediately got a job working in the bookstore. The bookstore is definitely my favorite memories. Mm -hmm. So I would start at Pierce College at 7.30 in the morning opening up the, the coffee shop or opening up the bookstore. Then I went to the little coffee stand that used to be in the downstairs there. That's really how old I am. Um, and I pretty much, we spent all day at Pierce College between going to the classes and then closing the bookstore at night and studying. I actually spent more time with the staff in the bookstore and they were very instrumental in a lot of my success and accomplishments and preparing me for the professional world. I think the most patient professor that I ever worked with was Tom Phelps in economics. Of course, Mr. Lobdell with his um, sex ed, human sexuality class or whatever that class was that he was speaking. So this whole time I was working um, in the bank. I started working at the bank in 1990. So while I was at Pierce College, I had three jobs and one of them was Saturday only at the bank. And that, that was, I, I saw that being my career path. And so I went from a Saturday only teller to being a full-time teller to being a customer service person. I was in banking 20 years, about 14 and a half of that at Bank of America, and I was wooed away to Key Bank. Uh, so I actually got reconnected to Pierce College because of Key Bank. They actually came to me and said, hey, Key Bank's approached us that they would, or excuse me, Pierce College has approached us that they would like to get a representative on their uh, foundation board. And they sat there and the the regional president sat there and invited me, and I go, I would love that. He goes, really? I said, well, I'm an alumni of Pierce College. I would love to get involved with them again. He goes, really? I did not know that. I was like, maybe you should have read my resume. And it was at that point that I was introduced to the other things that the foundation board does. So I became on the scholarship selection committee. That was really where I realized what we did. When you're sitting there going through application after application after application of people, needing the money to better themselves. Then KeyBank, being a corporate company, um, had a change of restructuring in the department and I was low man on the totem pole. So I was laid off and I got one of these random emails from another insurance company and it got me thinking. Because I was already selling some insurance. I was already investment licensed through the bank. And so this one, this one lady that I was anxiously wanting to meet with, she started her business 27 years earlier. I would, thought I was interviewing her and I was going through my skill set and I was going through my experiences and asking if that would be universal in the insurance industry. And then finally, my last question to her was, what is your exit strategy? How do you leave the insurance industry? And she looked me square in the eye and said, I didn't know until I met you. Would you like to buy my business? And. February 1st, 2010, I took ownership of my agency. So part of it is I want to, I also want to develop Pierce College. And I have I have good memories of it. I have a great deal of pride for being an alumni from there. And I want all future alumni to be of equal quality, giving back and, and participating and not being able to say no um, are all ways of doing that. Mm -hmm.